This is a game that showcases the importance of trappers. I have in my hand a really bad hand in my opinion. I have only Saskia as a gold and I'm not gonna want Saskia in my hand. The good thing is, is I have both of my trappers and trappers is one of the most underestimated bronze cards in the game because Scoia'tael overall is underestimated. The only Scoia'tael decks that are being played typically don't have trappers in them because dwarfs have all their bronzes dedicated to the dwarf faction and Ithna, uh, the spell Scoia'tael doesn't only runs really three bronze cards. I mean three bronze units. So here we can see that I dropped my Dragoons. I'm not exactly sure if I want to play the other one because I really do want to get the Morin off if I could, but I don't have a Morin in my hand. It's what I would have preferred here. Thinking that I'm going to get this round done early, I decide to play the Dragoon because because he played the Thaler. I'm not sure if my opponent's going to play out the entire round. The important thing is that I won the coin flip, so the Thaler only effectively changes who goes first. My opponent's decided to play the Quen sign onto his hand, and this allows him to buff uh, three of his units in his deck. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that meaningful to me because I don't attack damage those cards. I don't have a Moron onto the field. I'm deciding to use Francisca because I don't really want to mulligan any of my cards in my hand that might uh, get buffs on them later. So I want to get rid of them now rather than later. So I have effectively four elves on the board. So I know that the next elf I play will pull Illyrian. Sorry. I had to think for a moment. My opponent's getting some good value here because he gets three procs of his reinforced trebuchet. I'm going to keep buffing cards in my hand. That's it's always good to do that. I decide to do it on my vanguard. You can see that I'm still far ahead of my opponent. Buffs are coming in handy and I get a really, really good uh, Commander's Horn here. He gets another really excellent uh, Ballista off. In here I'm feeling like, oh, I got a pretty good... Uh, Trapper. Now, I could have played my other Trapper and not wasted as many points and saved those points onto the next round. But that's fine. My, this is like the biggest counter to my opponent. It go, the Fire Trap goes through armor. Yes, the uh, Siege supports aren't going to get damaged, but everything else is, and the armor has no cannot block this damage. So Trappers is super effective against Northern Realms, and we're seeing a pickup of Northern Realms as a counter to uh, a lot of different things, and people are just getting bored of Skellige, so. Again, I didn't draw into any gold cards, and I'm like, I'm a mulligan deck, how am I getting such a terrible hand? So I'm gonna just open up with Yaven. I really don't want to play anything uh, else. I wanna save it for the last round. My opponent plays his Dandelion, and that's actually kind of annoying. Now, I see that he play buffs three different cards. I have a pretty good inkling that they're all his <laughs> Witchers at this point. He thinned his deck quite a bit in the first round. I still get... I equalize the card advantage here, which is great, in my opinion. Now, I finally get Siri. Now, of course, I can't... Mulligan out Siri, so because I get more value from mulliganing out the word answer. It's great. He plays a <laughs> Regis Higher Vampire. He has a good chance of getting one of my vanguards. However, if we look, he did not get the strength of a vanguard on that Regis Higher Vampire, which is unfortunate. He, there was only one left in my deck at that point, so I had he didn't have 
the highest chances of hitting it. But three out of like four cards is pretty good, in my opinion. <laughs> We're gonna put down a Morin. This is in case he plays the Neke. There really isn't a good target for Morin here. And I was not expecting another armored unit to pop out on the board. Now I'm going to hit the other unit because Wily does go through armor. Morin doesn't, as we could see. My opponent decides to remove Morin from the board, but it's not really going to be important. Now I kind of put that unit in that row because I'm worried about a Geralt Igni, but now I don't have to be worried anymore because the last card is definitely a Witcher. Or if it isn't a Witcher, he's lost the game. If it's a lock card, I still win. So, like if it's his Margarita. So I can fair safely put this down now. It's going to hit him for a lot of damage. And now I can play my last Vanguard. And I win by a tiny amount, really. But it's a win anyways. That was a 21 point trapper. Ridiculous. <laughs> so it, really the trapper was the biggest point play I played on that round. I had an 18 strength vanguard in my hand and the trapper was more effective. Still a really close game and I would have lost if the Regis Higher Vampire took out my, one of my vanguards. 